it has always been God's plan that his communication and his instruction to man be documented, be written right from the beginning. Exodus 31 verse 18. See what he said. I'm just trying to run through this now. He says, And when he had made an end of speaking with him on Mount Sinai, he gave Moses the two tablets of testimony, tablets of stone, written what? With the finger of God. Written with the finger of God. That's talking about the, the Ten Commandments that we know. The tablet of testimony, it was written. That was the first time God was trapping his instruction to because now he had out of fallen man he has been able to carve for himself a family a home israel by covenant and he was now going to give them instructions by which they will live in his ordinance and so how he passed that down to them was in a written format there are there are few reasons why you would write something because you don't want that thing to be altered now i i, I watched a video once and i saw something like, like a demonstration there were like 20 people so the first person who was here said something to the, they, they, they formed the line so you say something to the first person and you keep telling somebody else till he gets to the, to, the, get to the last person. So maybe I say A, B, C, D, F, G. And I tell him, tell the next person. And I say A, B, C, D, F, G. And I tell the next person A, B, C, D, G. By the time we get there, that person will say, what did I say? That person will say G. Whereas what you said initially was what? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So God did not want, he knew he was speaking to, he was going to give it, he was speaking to a man. As Godful as Moses was, he was still a man. And so there is something called infallibility. And that, was, that happens to be a class for the Godhead. Only God is infallible. Only God cannot have errors. So in order for God to preserve the authenticity of his commandments to the children of Israel, he passed it to him in a written format. The Bible said it was written with the finger of God. Are you guys with me? It was written with what? The finger of God. Now look at Habakkuk 2 and verse 1 to 2. It says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. Look at verse 2. And who? The Lord answered me and said what? Write. Make it plain. The Lord told him what? Write the vision. And do what? Make it plain. Now, we're going to do Revelations 2 verse 1 verse 8, verse 12, and verse 18. Quickly. Media guys, are you with me? Alright. Revelations 2, verse 1. Unto the angel of the church at Ephesus, do what? Now, this was, this was Jesus speaking. Unto the pastor of the church at Ephesus, write. Give me verse 8. Unto the angel of the church in Smyrna, write. Verse 12. Unto the angel of the church in Pergamos, write. Verse 18. And unto the angel of the church in Thy, whatever, write. <laughs> Sorry, Thyatira. Thyatira. I don't know, write. Just write. <laughs> That's why they wrote it, so we can. <laughs> See, Jesus said something. He said, and he was quoting Deuteronomy. He said, he was quoting Moses. What God told Moses. He said, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word. That proceeds out of the mouth of God. And it has, it has always been and it still is God's plan. Okay, I, I, particularly when the script in, in that era when the communication of God to man by the divine authority of God was to be written down because it was going to be compiled into the scripture. Particularly then, it's God's plan that his communication is written. I have a myriad of examples to show you here that, that prove that fact. That the Bible is the word of God and it is authoritative as God's word. Now when I say it is the word of God, you will say, okay, but Satan spoke there. This person spoke there. So how can we say that the Bible is the word of God? Now when I say it is the word of God, if anything that God allowed to be written, not from him, is part of his message. So if you see how somebody fell by, by going into immorality, it's a lesson on what not to do. <laughs> The Bible said the things that were written at four time were written for our learning, Romans 15 and verse 4. So that we through the patience and comfort of scriptures might what? Might what? Might have hope. Romans 15 verse 4. For whatsoever things were what? Written at four time were written for our learning. It's the word of God. 
it might not it might not all be the words of God because men spoke there. Satan also spoke. Angels also spoke. Are you following me? But a major part, especially of the New Testament, were the documented communication of God to man. 